hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon Hesha do you want to know how to set up a Weber how to get your email list set up what's a campaign what's a broadcast what's a follow-up series what is all that and how does it work when you're trying to set up your business online why do you need an email list how to do it and you know if you're wanting to learn Aweber is one of the tools out there we're going to talk about how to use Aweber to do all these things in just a moment but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so right so a Weber is an autoresponder what does that mean an autoresponder is something that sends out emails on your behalf based on your email list what they call an email list if you've been building a business online trying to sell a course trying to grow a, an audience you will eventually if not already need an email list because the email list is the only thing you own so that's why they say all the marketers say you have to have an email list make sure you set up an email list so you got to create uh sign-in forms you got to create pop-ups you got to create different things a blog website or even your posts or maybe just send messages to people hey you want to get on my list here's the link that kind of stuff you got to get people on your list if you don't get people on your list you're not going to have your own it's your owned traffic with you know if you're listening to Russell Brunson uh, traffic secrets expert secrets dot com secrets these books he talks about how you have to have own traffic there's traffic you own there's traffic you don't own and traffic you uh what's the other he talks about traffic that you control right so traffic you control traffic you own and traffic you don't control so the traffic that you control is people that see your stuff based on ads based on you doing social media posts that kind of stuff traffic you don't control is somebody who lands on your page because they saw you somewhere else see either somebody else's blog post and then traffic you control uh sorry traffic that you own is your email list whenever you send an email to your list those are people that you you know have in your list that you control when they see it because you're sending out the email so let's talk about Aweber so I'm just going to share my screen here and why Aweber right well because I use it and also because uh it certainly does have a um <clears throat> it certainly does have a uh, affiliate program so you can refer other people to it and you can get a commission out of their uh, monthly fees right and that's one of the reasons why I promote it obviously because I I get that but you know the thing is that I don't it's not a, I don't care go just sign up without you know my link whatever that's fine I just want to show you how to set it up first we're going to go here and we're going to go into a new incognito window I'm just going to show you so basically you go to a Weber.jean.serge gagnon.com so aweber.jeansergegagnon.com that's my domain that's my link otherwise just search for aweber if you don't want to use my link that's fine but what happens is you go to whoops I guess I typed it wrong aweber aweber a a w e b e r dot jeansergegagnon.com there you go all right so aweber.johnsellsgoingout by the way if you type anything .johnsellsgoingout.com it goes to my blog so that's why we cited the blog there but that's aweber so they they of course show you how to use um the the, the tool what the what it's all about they give you examples of why you want to use it there's a bunch of other autoresponders out there obviously you can use others but I'm just going to show you so when you first go here you click on the free trial you put your name your last name your um how many subscribers you have you know they they ask you for example do you have this my first email or how many you have that kind of stuff your credit card all that they don't they charge you um a certain amount or you you can just do monthly your first month is free right or you go to quarterly or annually and get a savings right away um by just signing up but you can do a first month for free that's fine you can do that now once you have your account it's going to look like uh well it's not going to look like this I mean if I go to the dashboard here um I see my list because I have a bunch of lists already but you're going to have to create a list so what you do is you go to uh um, manage lists up top here you see manage list you go and you create a list so in the creation of the list well first you have to set up your account and all that obviously you got to get it approved you got to get it um, verified 
and then after that you have a list you you have your company name which should be the same on every single list and then you have a sender name and a sender email which can be different ones if you want depending on how you're set up then of course you give it your list a name so this is a test list for training right and then in the description you want to put something that people will recognize if they click the unsubscribe because they're getting emails you want them to at least know what they're unsubscribing from so this will be you know this is the test list that I explained a Weber with a Weber with right so that's one of the things so that so now uh, you just click on next step here and then it lets you create the list and it lets you um I guess that didn't take okay and then you select language and this is basically confirmation I'm going to say approve this that I just leave that by default um so what happens is now I have a list I have a new list it's called test list for training right up there you see at the top at the top of the screen there let me just uh, adjust that whoops I'm on here you see at the top of the screen there a test list for training right so in here you're going to go create a message so we use drag and drop so I'm just going to go and show you uh, the difference between so if, so first of all when you create your list you want to have people get added to your list right there's different ways of doing that we're going to talk about the um we're going to talk about the follow-up series and the campaigns and what's the difference between them so first I'm going to say email one and I'm just going to say well, I'm not going to bother but obviously you want to put text in there you're going to create something I'm just going to say save and exit and I'm going to just add this to my follow-up series right add the follow-up series this is the first message we're not going to cover exactly how all this works uh, but I just want to show you so I'm going to create messages and I'm going to show you what what that follow-up so basically the follow-up series is the first email they get plus any other emails you add to them normally you want to have follow-up series of five or f four or five maybe ten up to 10 emails and the the first initial emails they get they get is to kind of get to know you right so you want them to uh, to get these emails and you want to make it so that they're looking forward to, to the next email they want to open up the next email oh my god that story and that's one of the things that Russell Brinson talks about in his in his books he talks about the soap opera sequence which is a series of emails that talks about the next email making you want to want anxious to see the next email so you what he calls a open a loop and then you close it in the next email in the second email you open the loop to the third email so it's kind of like saying uh, tomorrow I'm going to talk to you about x just make sure you check your inbox you'll want to read that email right so you say stuff like that right so this will be email two and this email is going to come after the oops no I don't want to do that this email is going to come after the first email automatically if I put it in my follow-up series right so I'm going to do this I'm just going to add it automatically one day after I'm going to say another one I'm going to put a third one in here and I'm going to call it email three right so that's you get the idea there so you create the third email okay email three now I'm going to I'm going to save actually I'll get my you see down the bottom here there's a save right here I just save and exit right at the bottom or save and then when I'm done it goes and gets it added to the list right so now if I go here send options add to follow-up series he's going to add it again I can change that number of days that kind of stuff if I want but for basics I got now I got my three emails and of course like I said you probably should have five or so or more but this kind of shows you the list of emails so now what's the difference between an email so first of all your follow-up series there's only one you can only have one follow-up series for your email list but if you want to have campaigns so first I can make this into a campaign now the default it'll it'll become the campaign uh what's called the campaign the follow-up campaign so this is going to be the follow-up series now I want to create another campaign I'm going to show you how these work so I'm going to create a blank one I'm going to call it um uh, after a buying for example right I'm going to create this so now I want to have on a tag apply I'm going to say whenever they they buy buyer whoops I'm going to create it I'm going to say whenever they are whenever they get the tag buyer then they start to get these emails so now I'm going to send a message here I'm going to create a message here I'm going to do the same thing so basically um it's going to open up an editor I'm going to say thanks for buying 
thanks for buying thanks for buying right so now I have an email that they'll get when they get that tag now how do you get them to get that tag now you can have another again you can have a wait here you can say I want to wait a day then I want to send another message I want to say something like uh in this in this next one right I'm going to say uh let's just uh, so that's a campaign you can set up a campaign that happens when an event occurs like a tag right and so I'm going to say did you hear did you hear about right and whatever it can be an email about another product you have or something else I'm not saying that you should be using it for spam but it's basically something so now what happens is when they get that tag they start getting those emails so the other thing is let's just say I save this now once it's saved I don't have it says you see this one's active but this one's not so if I go to this one uh, I just click on the title here to go and edit it it's the follow-up series and I actually if I want to edit the follow -up, sorry if I want to edit the follow-up series I have to go into the follow-up series under messages here my follow-up series I gotta actually edit the follow-up series I'm going to say in email number three I can edit this email let's just load it up and I'm going to show you how to apply a tag right so for example I can say in this email I can say if you want to buy this click here right so I could have an email that talks about this awesome product or whatever and I just uh, use a link here I'm going to say whoops buy this click here I'm going to put a link here so I'm going to say buy dot just my it's not for real right but just a, a link right HTTP all right so that's the link there I'm going to save that and then what you do is you create a um an um an event so uh, let's see where is it oh actually I think I needed to do that um settings there so this message here I want to say apply where is it automation uh track key clicks send messages based apply these settings to all messages actually that's not I'm trying to remember where you do that in the that's a subject okay the send window uh okay so that's actually I'm I miss I'm missing something it's not in the uh follow-up series let's just okay so now you want to create something that's going to send uh like let's do that again let's do another message now you're going to start to create broadcast so these are messages they're going to get every uh, whenever you send them right so this is a broadcast so broadcast one one right and you're going to say here's here's the link to buy this now right so now in the broadcast you're going to put a link here and I'm going to say I'm going to say buy dot. it's not real right but it's just a link that would have your product or whatever you're trying to sell and then you save it and then you schedule a broadcast so I'm going to say schedule broadcast down this is where you would do you would go in here and you would say on message open uh if they click this link I want to add these tags by your right so now if I send this email out because I applied an automation if they click that link they're going to get that buyer tag and now they're going to be added to the list of my um of my uh buyers and they're going to get that campaign right so if I go back to the campaigns here now you'll they'll get these after buying emails the other thing you want to do is in the follow-up series we actually want to add uh oh it's draft it's not a, let's just let's just uh I need to edit I want to add this represents your current follow-up series click the title to modify the source but I want to have can I I want to know if oh uh, when you know what I wanted to do is I want to add a tag after they finish getting the campaign and I'm not sure if there's any way to do that uh start campaign on subscribe trigger for new subscribers follow-up series um actually let's see so let's edit this one I think there's because I want to have um so if I want to wait for that's another day it's a lot 
these are applied buyer replace trigger I want to have unsubscribe no I don't want that I wanted to find um how to let's remove this so what I'm trying to remember is how do you do so that at the end of the initial follow-up series how do they get a tag applied to them right so that then I can say I want to send a broadcast to everybody who has seen all the follow-up series right and that's uh, one of the things I'm trying to remember how to do that if I create a campaign a welcome series I can do this welcome series and then this adds messages automatically right so you can actually have a draft here this is a welcome series oh okay so that's how you do you don't use so what you want to do is you don't want you you don't want to use the traditional um the traditional um follow-up series you want to create a campaign and in that campaign you set it up for new subscribers which has the emails in it right and then at the end of it you apply a tag we're going to say saw 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 uh, follow-up right so actually you know what I do uh, what I want to do is I want to set up a Seinfeld all right so now when I have when they finished the these now I apply the Seinfeld tag and then if I save this now they're going to get this I'm going to disable this one and I'm going to make this one here activate so now their welcome is this and of course I have to put the right emails in there but now they have a welcome series they get four five six emails whatever you want to put in that series right and at the end they get this tag so that means that whenever I have a message I don't have a draft do I I think I might yeah so then I can go here and I can say schedule broadcast and I can say who to send it to and I can specify a segment which is basically actually I would create a new segment let's go in here let's just uh, show you how to do that so under subscribers I would go in here let's just add somebody who would well I'd add, add myself right I'll just add me js test js test at and then uh, I'm not going to give them anything follow-ups messages uh, yep that's fine add subscriber and then now I have one subscriber of course I have to go and uh, approve it and if I look at my subscribers you see that I have one and then what you got to do is you got to search for you want to say a tag where is it tag any tags I don't remember where that there it is tag is um Seinfeld right so if there's this tag it's going to give me a list actually I should probably but anyway so the idea is that you then create a segment I, I probably and then you save it as as Seinfeld tag right so now I save that there's nobody in it right now but it's still there and then if I go to my messages and I say schedule broadcast in here I can then say send it to segment has Seinfeld tag so now what happens is whenever I send my broadcast it only goes to people who have at least seen my first five or whatever messages they are supposed to see in their particular email list so that's how you use so that's what so campaigns is a way to organize and you can actually have multiple campaigns per list instead of just one follow-up series which is what it used to be and you can do that and set it up so that you can have automation automation and one of the things I do which I haven't fixed yet is I send that to everybody right in all my all my lists I got a bunch of lists I got about a thousand subscribers right now I got to grow that but I've been wanting to uh, you know improve how I build it and that's one of the things right you have to have well you don't have to because obviously I haven't but you should have an email list like that a follow-up list um, auto, an autoresponder list and you should use an autoresponder like I said go to aweber.jeansergegagnon.com to start your free trial you can get a free first month get all this set up and if you need help reach out let's have a conversation I'd love to help you out I want you to have success with this I mean even you know as an affiliate this is how it works right if you set up your account and you have no results well you're not gonna 
keep your account you're going to cancel it right why would you pay for something that isn't giving you results so for me to have success I need to help you have success so I need to help you set it up the right way and if you want to set up the right way what I recommend is you set up your account you create your list and then you set up a campaign for the follow-up series a welcome series that they call it not a follow-up series so that you can then have a tag at the end so that you can then broadcast to that tag right that's the right way to do it the way that is recommended the way that's taught by Russell Brunson in his secret series books if you haven't heard of Russell Brunson you definitely need to be looking it up again I have an affiliate link for that you know any of that stuff if you want people to join you so that you can help them you need these these set up too you need to set that stuff up and I can help you with all that I would love to help you with all that let's go back to the to the webcam here so yeah I would love to help you with all these things setting up your Aweber setting up your blog setting up your your um your your affiliates for say Russell Brunson books for example setting up your your Facebook page your your LinkedIn profile all these things I would love to help you with that because if you get success if you have results then that helps me right and that's why I want to help you so just go ahead and reach out let's have a conversation I you know or just at least join my list see what kinds of stuff I send out and see whether that's the kind of stuff that you like and that helps you right or follow me or you know do all that that's how you learn and if I'm not for you if I'm not the person that you that I that can help you that's fine it, I don't have to be the person to help you it could be somebody else I might not be you know your kind of person and that's okay I'm not for everybody not everybody is for everybody and remember to be yourself right so hopefully this helped and if you have any questions again let's let's have a conversation reach out and let's have a conversation that's the that's how you get to the next level have yourself a great day we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time